it's been about a month since I did one of these. I don't really like to force it. There hasn't been a lot of mods that really catch my eye, except for this one. This one seems interesting to me because, well, Britain is going to colonize everything around them, which means Asia is going to have a completely different game. But also, what does this mean for all the European countries left back home? With this threat gone, who's going to take over up here? Also, Ireland won't be touched. Ireland's going to be completely on their own. I don't think they have to worry about any other invaders now. So. Will we see some sort of Irish colony back in the New World? France is not going to start off in a hundred years war, which means they should be able to just eat up a lot of these smaller neighbors. The only person they still have to worry about, obviously, is Castile and Aragon. If they form Spain early, which Spain's going to have, I think, a pretty normal game. I mean, they might be able to colonize even more now. This mod looks a little weird. Like, is Britain really smaller than the islands of Japan? I never really thought about it, but I guess it kind of is. I don't think they messed with, like, the ratios or anything, I don't know. But what I'm wondering is, will they cannibalize each other? Will they both kind of, I don't know, kind of do the same thing? Maybe England won't be as powerful because they have to worry about the Japanese in the north. But will they get to the west coast? That's my big question. I think they will, unless this stuff gets taken by Spain or Portugal early, but we might see like a British California and like a British Alaska or something, that might be their best bet. Australia, New Zealand, and probably everything in Indonesia, that's definitely all theirs. I doubt anyone's really gonna stop them, I think. I mean, yeah, no, this, there's no way. By the way, thank you for all the kind comments talking about my leg. My leg is doing fine. It's just chilling here. Uh, ankle is healing, I guess. I'm gonna have to be sitting like this the whole time, so a little awkward. Not gonna show this shot too much. I, I mean, uh, unless someone wants some special Patreon membership. We, we, we could do that. I'm wondering if we're gonna see like way less trade companies in India and like Africa, Arabia, the Middle East. Because wouldn't Britain just eat this stuff up before the Europeans, like Portugal, France, Spain can even get over here? Of course, they still have to worry about Ming. We'll see if they explode. If they don't, well, that is gonna be kind of bad. Okay, I was so confused right now. I was like, wait a second. How did you guys get over here so fast? This is not possible, but uh, this is the wrong save. Uh, nice to see the mod still works, though. Wait a second, I didn't even check this. So we do have a couple of new seed tiles. Dogger Bank. Uh, this, which I don't even want to pronounce because I know people will laugh at me. Fifth, Firth of Fourth and more. Is this a real thing? I don't know where these words are coming from, but uh, okay. Okay, so about 50 years into it, and we've got a couple Irish states sort of making a name for themselves. Uh, still too early to tell, but definitely safe to say one of these are probably gonna form Ireland. Oh wow, and back in Asia, England's already done their thing. They're still beating up on Scotland, and they did that really quick. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Who is Scotland gonna team up with? I don't think they can even see anybody can they see anybody oh yeah not really okay so they really didn't even get to meet ming if, if anyone so that's kind of weird i mean i guess scotland's still around they're they're still chilling maybe they can make a comeback no new diplomatic stuff i was wondering if they at least became friends with somebody i guess somebody from the philippines but no not at all well if i was one of these nations around there i would definitely start to get worried because at this point all they really can do is expand, and uh, that means your booty's on the line. Back in Europe, though, France has done a little bit to eat up some neighbors, I guess. They still have a long way to go. HRE kind of doing their thing, and uh, that's about it. I think the post lithuanian Union is still going on, and then Denmark is probably trying to keep Sweden still. I don't think Sweden's left just yet. So Denmark's got to keep these two places, and then Poland, Lithuania doing their thing. Allied to Novgorod, so that's a good sign, at least if they keep this, that they might be able to keep down Muscovy. I think Ming is exploding before our eyes. Definitely, because, yeah, this state is not normally here. I mean, they can sometimes keep it together. I think the AI can, like, get it together, but it doesn't look like it. While in England, it doesn't matter if they're now Asian. They will still kill off Scottish Asians. Don't matter. And they are now in the Philippines. So they've made this little jump. They're only going to continue from there. They're also at war with Japan. All of Japan. Before Japan is even united yet so are they gonna get some land up here is that possible oh wow and they've got an epic powerhouse of an alliance right here man nothing stronger than that you guys are really genius let's let's go ahead and see this amazing al wow mm -mm -mm, sexy okay you guys you guys are definitely gonna be able to take over the world with this friend obviously by this point europeans are already getting to the new world so it looks like we're gonna see a spanish brazil and uh portugal is grabbing up the caribbean is that it. No, I think Denmark is here. Yeah, Denmark is definitely here. 
Gotta start those Viking colonies back up. You know, it'd be nice to have seen Ireland united by now, especially because, you know, the colonization is starting to happen. They, they should really, I don't know, have someone more powerful, but th they're gonna get there. Big old coalition against the Ottomans right now. I guess it's safe to say they're not gonna be having a great game. I mean, this is only one war, but man, they're gonna lose a lot, I think. Well, Denmark has annexed Norway. Sweden obviously got their freedom, and uh, yeah, they are totally free to go out in the north and just grab up all this land, I think, because who's really gonna stop them? We might even see like a Danish America, I guess. There we go. Now you got it. Only took like 200 years. Okay, so uh, now just do something with it. I mean, I don't know if you have any friends, hopefully you're friends with France, because maybe France could make an invasion, technically. Oh wow, you don't know anybody, uh, although you do have some sort of Casas Belli against Great Britain. I don't think you even know Great Britain now, they're <laughs> on the opposite side of the world. The Western Europeans are now doing their thing, Spain is formed, France is looking sexy, and uh, I think Naples got their freedom, but uh, anyways, yeah, so... I guess it's now a race to the new world. There's already some pretty big colonies popping up, especially in South America. This might be entirely Spanish, actually, because Portugal's kind of avoided this continent completely. Yeah, I'm starting to get a really bad feeling that Spain is gonna have a really good game. Like, they're just gonna run away with it, because they're also the only ones in Africa right now. Well, actually, Portugal's kind of here, but that's about it. Ming has exploded. They did not keep it together, and uh, their states are kind of starting to, y you know, I don't know, bring things back. Ooh, ooh, I like that. And here we go. So the race is on for the Pacific Islands or something. Great Britain has formed and so has Japan, which I mean, Japan is at war with Korea, I think. But anyways, uh, the British are now colonizing the Philippines. It's right there. Might as well. So they're not going to face much, much of a threat, I don't think. And no one in no, there is somebody in uh, Australia, at least Tasmania, that is that I think think are the Egyptians. In this universe, do the British Asians discover their tea a lot sooner since they don't have to travel as far? Is that gonna make them more aggressive or maybe more peaceful? That is one thick Lithuania. Uh, what happened to Poland, guys? Did you, did you do what everyone else does to Poland? I thought you were their only friend. Actually, no, I think it was mainly Hungary and Bohemia that did a lot of this, so I don't think they're getting this stuff back. The Polish are done. Timmy's surprisingly still going strong, even though I don't know what a jam is doing. They're really just cutting into him. And the race for Oceania is on. The British have gone after New Zealand, which in this universe is now just considered British Australia. Uh, and yeah, the Egyptians, Mamluks, are colonizing most of this continent but they do have to worry. I don't know if it's gonna go that easily. Well, the British have colonized almost all of the Philippines, unsurprisingly, but not the whole thing. Spain finally arrived, and that is not good. They got here really fast, so I don't know. They're also out here in Indochina. That's bad news. Of course, the Asian Brits hate Japan. I figured that was gonna be like their number one rival. Also, a couple other like Chinese areas, that's about it. Are you still just friends with- Oh, you're friends with Spain, so you allowed it. And the Iroquois. We know they've made it to the New World. Oh, okay, so, but there's- there's not really anything left in the New World. Nothing from the West Coast, at least. I mean, I guess they could get to the Alaska region, but no, I don't- I don't know. Denmark has really dropped the ball out here in Canada. They must have left or something. We've got, a uh, Nova Hollandia. That's a beautiful name, and the French are now kind of doing their thing. And unsurprisingly, everything else is Spanish. Well, except for French Venezuela. Well, French Colombia, technically, that's what they've named it. And uh, Portugal. Portugal not doing a whole lot. I don't know why, but all right. Scandinavia has taken over, and actually, I think this is what happened to that Danish colony, because this was clearly started by Sweden, and then they just started eating up these others uh, a lot. Oh my goodness, and now they have ruined Ireland. Oh, how could you do this? Uh, so another Viking invasion, kind of 500 years later or something like that. France is looking scary. So they're pushing way into like HRE territory and uh, well, Spain grabbed up a little bit here too, but uh, okay, I like this Naples. Maybe Naples will form Italy. Bohemia is terrifying. Austria is not looking too good. And of course, Mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm. Lithuania just getting thicker and thicker. So clearly, Muscovy's had a pretty tough game. There is no rush in this universe. At least, I, I doubt it. The Muggles have popped up. So Timmy has turned into the 
wizards, the the non wiz the half wi what were muggles again? Half I don't I don't know. I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, but now I'm off on a tangent. Anyways, we'll see if they take over India. Uh, India's kind of still looking strong though. The Brits also aren't going to be doing any sort of like trade companies or anything like that. I thought they'd at least make it to Africa or something. I, I don't know why they must be distracted. I don't know what's going on. The Japanese now doing what they do, taking out Korea and uh, the Koreans are actually looking really bad now. So uh, they're definitely going to be able to compete, I think, with the British, which by the way, British now kind of moving into Indonesia very a lot into Indonesia and uh, they might actually be able to do something about Mamlukian Australia. There's still a battle going on for this continent and the new world is completely filled up. So it is almost entirely Spanish. Uh, Vinland, so Vinland did come back. I don't know. I mean, yeah, Holland wasn't doing that well in like mainland Europe. So it explains why they probably stopped. Uh, Vinland, although this is large, these are large provinces. A lot of this is wasteland. I don't know how powerful they really are. Uh, France got something. Oh, here's some more stuff down here. Portugal managed to just kind of keep this stuff. The French did the same, but yeah, Spain is definitely the winning. Spain's definitely winning right now. That is just one big Lithuanian orb right there. That's just like a circle empire, almost a perfect circle. That's actually getting kind of close, weirdly. Also, Scandinavia has uh, united completely Denmark and Norway. Also, yeah, Ireland's gone. Whoa, what is happening here? Okay, so revolutionary France formed really fast, but uh, you guys are gonna pay. You guys are definitely gonna pay for that. I, I don't know what's gonna happen. Here's a sexy Venice after Austria collapsed, and uh, I think they might be taking stuff away from Naples even. Is this them? Maybe. Persia has formed, but uh, that means I don't think we will see much threat to the Indian powers. They are still kind of battling between these three. They actually might be safe. I don't know. I mean, Spain might do something, but Spain's really distracted. Of course, Great Britain has found a way to become friends with Prussia, which I didn't even know Prussia was in this game, to be honest. Are they powerful? No. Okay, so this is, this is Britain's only friend. All right, technically we are at the end of EU4, but we're gonna keep on going to the modern day, the modern year, uh, it's, but I'm surprised that all these colonies got their independence, especially because you know Spain was on top. So uh, Chile, Brazil, and Mexico, I think are the only ones that got their independence, but maybe we'll see a little bit more. Also Canada, so uh, Canadian Holland, I guess, got, got their freedom, but they're probably gonna die. The Ottomans are dead, which we've seen something like this before. Of course, it was from the Lithuanians because they're continuing to push. And actually with Scandinavia maybe focused on the new world, they might be able to just become a new Russia. I don't know, kind of funny to see the horde still kicking after like, what are we, the 19th century? Spanish Siberia, man, they're just not stopping. So now they're just gonna take advantage of all this land since no one ever got any of this stuff. And uh, Great Britain really doing some cool stuff, looking like a 1940s Japanese empire. This is kind of a problem here though, Spanish Indochina. So they took out the Kamai empire. I kind of was hoping that we would see the Brits like get a lot of this stuff, but no. Oh my goodness, India. I don't know what's going on over this way. And here we go. So we are now here on today's exact date, or the date this video was uploaded, at least. You might be watching it past then. And uh, lots of stuff has happened. I guess France didn't pay too much for the revolutionary thing that they decided to do, but um, wow, that is a pretty cool looking Wurzburg. Is the HRE even still around? No. No, they aren't. I don't know when that collapsed, but uh, that might be a good thing. Man, these are three really strong, like, German powers. Are they all German? I don't even know. Loving this green down here in Italy. So, the Italian peninsula never united. We have a Spanish Italy, though, but, uh, okay. Spain also reached really far into Moroccan territory. They didn't get all of that nation. They're still kind of holding on. Africa, for the most part, is still pretty independent which is shocking. I mean, there is nothing like Congo territory, Kilwap doing nice. I mean, they've, I've seen Madagascar look way worse than this. Madagascar is usually just the village bicycle. Persia looking good. They ended up doing a little bit better than I thought. And of course, Lithuania, they kind of still look the same. I thought they'd continue to go out towards the east, but no, the Spanish Tartari is kind of just chilling out here. I don't think anyone's gonna threaten them much. Uh, also, this horde, I believe this is a horde, they're looking real good. So they did take out Korea, also got a big chunk of like Chinese heart 
land stuff. Japan still holds on to the Korean Peninsula though, with a little piece from Spain as well. And uh, wow, that's a really huge Spanish South China colony. Okay, we've seen this before. There's no, they had to have won, didn't they? I'm pretty sure Spain won. Great Britain didn't do all that much. I'm a little sad that they didn't do more. I'm wondering if like, if they swapped Japan, if maybe Japan was in, I'm pretty sure that is already a, that's a mod out there somewhere. Would the Japanese islands go to Europe and then the British Isles go here? I don't know, but I, I, I do wonder if they like kind of cannibalized each other. As for the new world, it's 2019 and I don't think there's any colony left. I mean, Spanish Peru, maybe, but uh, Brazil, Chile, and look at this Mexico. Wow, that's a sexy Mexico. Uh, okay, the United States is here. The Estados, the Estados Unidos. This this wasn't formed by Spain. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. I'm pretty sure it was formed by France, right? This this is this is a French colony, I think. Vinland's still chilling, which they are not a colony. Uh, so Scandinavia did lose this, but at least they survived, which is pretty good. I mean, they're the best. It looks like they're the best on the East Coast. I'm not entirely sure. I thought Scandinavia was going to do a little bit better. Not that, I don't know. I mean, they were island hopping. They island hopped off of Ireland. I don't know how much power they were getting from Ireland. I thought they'd get a little bit more, but I guess not. Wow, I almost completely missed this. Prussian Indochina. I have never seen Prussia make it to China. Okay, that is, that is beautiful. And look at that. Prussia is so tiny. How did they manage to do this? That is incredible. I guess because of some good friends. They did have a lot of good friends. Is this it? So they just got some Chinese stuff, and that's about it. They just, they just, that was it. They're, that was their game. That, that's all they wanted to do. Time to see the winners. Okay, in eighth place, we have United States, then Bengal, and Britain. So at least Britain made it to the top eight. I wasn't even sure if they were going to do that. So I guess that's something. Then Persia, uh, this horde that I, I don't know if I want to pronounce, and getting lit, getting real lit in third place. Spain is number two and Mexico is number one. How did Mexico pull away with this? I don't know. Maybe their former overlords gave them a lot of power and then Mexico just took advantage of it or something. How? I'm okay. I don't know. I mean, yeah, Mexico looks good, but are they that good? I don't, I guess, I guess so. So Britain and Asia is just like Japan in Asia. Honestly, <laughs> like, I mean, they start a little bit earlier grabbing all this stuff up and then they keep it too. Japan doesn't necessarily do that. Also, Ireland still didn't have their game. I thought this was going to be their game. No, they need more power over here. Honestly, this is this is probably not enough, especially when the potatoes run out. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Big thanks to the patrons. Ball in like Stalin. Birthday Daddy. LPC. Elijah Senpai. Bruce Rocation. Swiss Argo. Maxi G. Lol ben Mike, Moke. Galley. Free Cruise. Mr. Perkelly. Cooter Donkey. Brendan Hinkle. Alfonso M6. Millitime. Chewy Long Dong. Double Books. My main man Manny. Mega Fat Boy 2.0. The Hentai Lover. Geek Colony Sir. And Sleeper 56.